Hi, I'm Todd Rosenbluth, Head of Research at Vetify, and thanks for joining us for our latest episode of ETF 360. Today, I'm joined by Dan Phillips of Northern Trust Asset Management, and we're going to talk about a quality and low volatility suite. Dan, thanks for joining me. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Well, it's good to have you here. So we're in a slow or relatively no growth environment, and the Federal Reserve is signaling that they might actually do a pause on rate hikes. How are you in Northern Trust thinking about this from a tactical asset allocation perspective? Yeah, definitely. So it's nice to see the Fed finally ho and hopefully get to the top, if you will, of their rate hikes. But we don't think that they're going to be on a, uh, a descending course anytime soon. In fact, uh, unlike the markets who have, I think, three or four rate cuts priced in over the next year, we actually think that the Fed is going to stick at this sort of five, five and a quarter type level. Uh, because of the fact that the inflation numbers, especially on the services side, are probably still a little bit too high for them. And the economy is still doing OK, especially if you look at the labor markets where the unemployment rate is still three and a half percent. Wage gains are still a little bit high. Job openings are still very high. And so there's not a lot of reason, actually, to think that the recession is coming imminently. Um, the inverted yield curve that we have suggest that it is coming, but there's a lot of momentum in this economy still. Now, for us, and in many ways, that makes us less um, embracing of risk right now, because what's most important, we think, is to get the Fed off of their rate hiking or their more restrictive policy. And even when they get done rate hiking, when they stay at that 5% level, as opposed to coming back down, that could and probably should be still viewed as somewhat uh, restriction restrictionary. Um, and so for us, it's, it's this idea that we're in this really slow growth environment, but probably not recession in over our, uh, over our, the near term investment horizon. And therefore, uh, we don't expect a lot of growth out of the equity markets, but we do think that you can take risk in areas like high yield, um, wherein the fundamentals there are good and all you need in high yield, of course, is to get paid the coupons to get paid what you're owed, as opposed to any necessarily uh, any needs for for you know growth or whether it be in the earnings or the multiple side of equities now that said um so we do prefer high yield over equities but within equities and and, and frankly the topic of this call is the idea uh, of investing in uh, quality low volatility stocks and we like this as a strategy all the time because it's a really nice core solution for the portfolio. It actually outperforms when volatility is higher. So when perhaps other active managers may be underperforming um, or there's just uh, elevated volatility in your portfolio in general, having this quality low volatility strategy in the portfolio helps a lot to dampen that, that risk. And then especially in the environment we're in today, versus say before the uh, financial crisis. Uh, so going way back, so thinking about the new regime we're in, if you will, uh, a lot more volatility spikes have been happening recently. Um, and with the geopolitical situation the way it is, and some of the uncertainties around where growth goes from here, it's likely that we're gonna continue to be in this high, more volatile uh, situation. And so uh, for us, um, with respect to your equity portfolio, uh, one, we are a little bit underweight uh, equities, again, in favor of high yield, but two, where you are and you always will need equity exposure in your portfolio, it does provide a return premium over time, but a way to not only uh, sort of batten down the hatches today, uh, but also maybe even a, a take advantage of the volatility environment is through that quality, low volatility approach. So I want to stick on the quality and low volatility approach. What do you think are the benefits of combining those two within one strategy? Yeah, so, you know, you don't want quality and low volatility or, or low volatility, rather. You want quality and low volatility brought together. And the reason why it's such a benefit is because there are names out there that show low volatility. But um, similar to you hear about value traps, there's... Uh, um, there's uh, stocks that uh, are cheap, but um, but not necessarily stocks that you would want to own. There are also stocks with that low volatility, but don't really provide you uh, the upside that you would want. And so bringing the quality element in as well really helps to kind of separate the wheat from the chaff. So again, that intersection of low volatility and high quality stocks 
as opposed to just going out and investing in uh, high quality stocks, which would bring in both low and high volatility and or going out and just getting low volatility, which would bring in both low quality and high quality. Let's stick to the stuff that actually works best in the portfolio. So the suite of ETFs that, that FlexShares offers is QLV, QLVD, and QLVE, the U.S. Developed International and Emerging Market Products, I believe, right? That's correct. Yep. And so um, for, for U.S. investors, it's that QLV, that's uh, benchmark to U.S. indices. Uh, but we are global investors, and we do appreciate the diversification that can come from, from other areas in the world. And oh, by the way, these factors, and to be a true factor, it should show efficacy no matter the region that you're in. If it's just only working in the U.S. or only working in Japan, then it's probably not a true factor. There's probably some anomaly going on there. But when you see factors like uh, low volatility, like quality, and certainly when you combine them together, what you get is um, a, a factor, or in this case, a, mul a section, multi-section factor that um, has provided that return premium, no matter what region you're, you're working with. And so, Dan, where, where can folks learn more about these ETFs? Yeah, sure. So we've got, you know, a great website for uh, all of our ETFs, flexshares.com. A lot of really good information out there. And of course, our sales reps are always very happy to uh, to go through the, the, the strategies that we have as well. Well, I appreciate the time and the insight, quality, low volatility together. Uh, great combination. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it.